Okay, so now we're ready to set up our Redis cluster. So the first thing we need to do is create a new security group, which I've already done for you. And I'll just show you the ports opening here. So here's our Redis group, and we're allowing the Redis ports, which is 6379. We're allowing the uh, application service to talk to it, as well as the staging on the inbound. Um, outbound is, allows everything. So now we can go to Elasticache, and we have to first create a cache subnet group. So let's go ahead and do that now. Call it AWS Tutorial, select our VPC. I believe you have to create two, just like the database. So go ahead and click Create. And now we want to get started with a cache cluster. So we'll choose Redis. All the defaults are fine here. We'll just name our replication group. And actually, <laughs> we want to make sure we uh, just do an M1 small, so the uh, smallest one they offer here. So we'll go ahead and click Next. Here's our cache subnet group. And let's see if we can expand this. Oh, man. It's tough to, uh, tough to see this security group here. Let's see if I can... Um, Sorry, I'm going to have to do this on the fly here. That doesn't give us the... Uh, well, we'll try and uh, take a guess and uh, change it if we need to. So we're going to go ahead and launch this replication group. So it's probably going to take a while, and when it does, uh, we'll get it linked up. Okay, so our cache cluster has been created. Um, my fault earlier, I created a subnet group with two availability zones. So what it did was it actually launched a uh, cluster in each availability zone. Um, so we really don't need to care about 1B, so we'll take a look at the one node in USD 1A. So the only thing we need to care about here is the endpoint. So we're going to copy this endpoint, because this endpoint is going to be used to configure uh, the Redis plugin within WordPress. I've already got uh, my WP config open. So for that particular plugin, all you have to do is define one more characteristic, and that's WP Redis host. And the host is just the, uh, the Redis cluster that you created um, right here. And then if you need to, uh, you can also copy the endpoints here. And so now what we need to do is we need to sync this out. So should be pretty easy. I'm going to comment out the production line and comment in this comment out the stage line. And again, I realize this could be a much easier process, but for the sake of this demo, it's pretty easy to get out there. Okay, so we see it uh, sent up a couple other things too. So now let's bring this back. So now our Redis cache is now set to the correct host. So the other thing that we got to do is we have to, let me go back to plugins here, we have to configure Amazon. So let's start doing that. So if we go to the AWS plugin, we go to settings, I've already set that up, so I need to go to um, S3 and CloudFront. So I've already created an S3 object called AWS Tutorial Series. You can go ahead and just create a new bucket here if you want to. And then we want to copy files to S3 as soon as they're uploaded to the media library, um, point the file URLs, and remove uploaded file to the local system once it's been copied to S3. So this is if you have already have files in there. And we're going to save these changes. So we've come a long way, and now we're on to the very last piece, and that's uh, setting up the CDN, Amazon's CloudFront.